so you are like a madman. You talk to yourself. You only want to talk to yourself and no one else. Left alone in a room, the scenery from the window is all the scenery you have. You don't want to become anyone, but anyone's words could coerce you into being something else, someone else. You believe that hiding yourself from the world out there will allow you to escape other people's eyes. No one will see you, you can do whatever you want. Only when you get out of the room, you realize no one acknowledges your existence. The fear has arrived, born out of the solitude. You see yourself as a flow of water, you are willing to put into any container, into all kinds of environments. That's the effort you're willing to make. You don't want to be isolated, but you are unable to compromise. You suspect that everything is your own fault. You've been thinking about questions that don't really matter. You've forgotten your truest desires. Desperately seeking to find the key that unlocks the door that confines you. You wish for someone to be on the other side of the door. You believe who or what lies behind the door is actually what you want. You want to believe, however, you don't know what waits for you. You move forward with blind hope. You eat and sleep. Sleep becomes an escape. You don't remember the dreams you are having these days. No traces to be found. Because all your dreams seem like they've never existed. As if someone has eaten each one of them before you could wake up. You have no idea what you have encountered in your dreams. I wish I could retain the dream from last night, you sadly murmur to yourself, because you believe that the one you've been thinking of, has appeared. But sitting in the sunlight, you had to let the new day in. With the heat of the sun, your dream has evaporated like water on the sidewalk. This repeats day in and day out, day after day, week after week, month after month until you find yourself one year older.